So uh, last time we spoke about what business success is. This is to me. You know, all of this, these things are my opinions. This is stuff that I've created, so you can take a spin on it however you want, but this is what I believe. Uh, so we're not going to dive into this too much. What I'd like to dive into today is how, how do we, I guess, really what the steps are to how to run an effective business. Um, I believe that there are five steps to success no matter what business you're in, period. And so if you've ever wondered, well, what steps do I create, or, or how do I run my business, or what are my systems, or what's the big picture to my business, I guarantee it's this. And you can minimize, or, or you can tweak this however you want, but before I show you what these five steps are, uh, I'm actually going to show you a simplified version of what these five steps are. For any of you that have read one of my books, the uh, online marketing book, uh, I talk about this in there, and my question is, who has a GPS in their car? Anybody? Raise your hand. Who has a GPS on your phone? Hello? Patrick, you don't have a GPS? Okay. Um, anyway, the point is that is the GPS does what? Gets you, get you to where you want to go, yeah. from A to B, period. All right? Same thing with this model here. I call this my GPS triangle. Imagine that, it's a triangle. And really, this is what business is. This is exactly what it is. You have to generate leads, then you got to pre-screen them, and then you sell them. Generate, pre-screen, sell, generate, pre-screen, sell, GPS, GPS. This is the simplest version to a successful business that I can possibly give you. I don't think there's anything more simple than that. Because if you take away any of these pieces, you don't have a business. Now, technically, could you take away pre-screen? Sure. I guess you could. But we're gonna, well, that's extremely important. And we're going to talk about why that's important here in a minute. Um, so... Generate pre-screen sell. Hopefully everybody writes this down. There is nothing more simpler to business than this. If you ever wake up or feel confused or lost or something just doesn't feel right in your business, go back to this. Keep it simple. Don't complicate business. Because there's a lot of people out there that think, well, my business is different. Bullshit. It is not different. You think you have a hard business? I guarantee it's not harder than mine, and here's why. In real estate investing, I have to do a lot more than most every other business because I don't have a repeat client. I have to find a seller, find a seller, okay? I have to then prove myself and, 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 and buy this property. Then the only way I can make money is I have to now find a buyer for this property. I have to find two types of people and neither one of those types of people will I ever probably do business with again. Maybe, but very unlikely, right? So you think you have a hard business? I've got a hard-ass business. Now, I will tell you, though, that if you can figure out that business, which I'm not about to teach you, Patrick, <laughs> then you can make a shit ton of money. Real estate is phenomenal. It's a great business. It's a hard business. It has ups and downs. Um, yes? This triangle is really not a triangle, right? It's just a straight line. There's nothing, no link between sell and generate. It's a triangle because I made it into a triangle. <laughs> it's better than the GPS straight line. Yeah. Um, you are the geek of the group. <laughs> <laughs> um, just the kidding. Other two. kidding. All right. Let, let, you right, fixed your let's, monitor, dude. <laughs> yeah, what? I said you fixed your monitor, bro. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm totally joking. Um, let's keep the questions to a minimum until and, and kind of just save it till the end um, of each lesson. So, um, otherwise, I'm going to get off track, and I can't. I can't get on track. Five steps. This is the simple stuff. This is the more complicated version. There are five steps to success in every business, and here's what they are. Locate prospects, pre-screen prospects, construct and present offers, follow up and get a commitment, close quickly, and repeat. Everybody should be writing this down. I hope. Um, locate prospects. That's called marketing. You gotta get your phone to ring. If your phone's not ringing, then I can't buy a house. If I can't buy a house, I can't sell a house. If I can't sell a house, I can't make money. There is nothing more important than step one. If step one doesn't take place, there is no step two, three, four, five. Period. Locating prospects is only about getting your phone to ring. You have to generate leads. You have to have multiple ways to get your phone to ring. In my business, when I teach real estate investing, I really say it like this. I say, either your phone needs to be ringing or somebody else's phone needs to be ringing. 
Bottom line is a phone better be ringing. If you don't have money to spend to get your phone to ring, pick up the phone book and start dialing. Period. Put an ad on Craigslist. It's free. Put out a sign. Do whatever you got to do. There's plenty of free ways to, to generate business. Get your phone to ring. But then when your phone rings, you got to capture the information. I do not recommend for any business model to have lead generating phone calls go to their cell phone. It's an absolute no-no. Your cell phone is not for lead generation. Your cell phone is to do business with the clients that you want to have access to your cell phone number. When you spend money on marketing, make sure you have a dedicated phone number for that marketing funnel. If you're not sure how to do that, you can set up as many Google voice numbers that you possibly want. It's free. Just make up some email addresses. So for example, when we have, when we market uh, with our direct mail, we put a direct mail phone number on that mail piece. When we market on our website, we have a website phone number on our website. When we do marketing on, you know, signs, we have a sign phone number on our signs. Why? So that way we know that if we spend $100 on signs and we get zero calls, well, hell, something ain't right. But if they all go to one website or one phone number, you cannot track what the heck you're marketing to. You have no idea. You're flying absolutely blind. I was down in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, and I was consulting with a company called Furniture Land, FurnitureLandSouth.com. If you actually look up this company, they've got a massive, like, their building is a massive armoire built in front of, like, that's what they're building. It's, it's incredible looking. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. They must have some crazy overhead. 500 employees. These guys don't have a clue about marketing. Not a clue. I was saying little stuff like this, stuff that I'm saying to you all for free right now, and they were just blown away. And it really should be that simple. They didn't know where their marketing was going. They couldn't, you couldn't, they could not tell me what sales came from what market. That's scary, don't you think? That's very scary. I mean, they're spending millions of bucks, and they don't freaking know. They're driving all traffic to one web page with one phone number on it in multiple sources from multiple ads from everything else in between. Not a clue. You get how scary that is, right? You're seeing this picture. You have to track. So we're not going to get too much more detailed in the marketing side than this right now here today, but you've got to locate prospects. You have to generate leads from multiple sources. You have to track those leads, and then you make sure you capture the information. When you capture information, make sure you get... There, at minimum, at absolute minimum, you really want to get an email address or a phone number, depending on how you want them to respond. You could technically have someone call a 24-hour free recorded message, and if they don't leave a message, you'll still have caller ID. You could call them back. So if you have somebody opt into your website, you don't necessarily have to have their name, but you do have to have an email address. So the first thing, most important thing, is the way to contact them and get back in touch with them. Phone or email. Now then, of course, you want their name. The more that you can get, the better. Caveat, if you ask for too much up front, what's your address, what's your dog's name, and all the other BS, they're going to get scared and won't give you anything. So when you're generating leads for brand new prospects, you want to keep it absolutely simple as, as unfrightening as possible and just get them to pick up the phone and call you or, or email you or whatever. Just make sure that you're tracking it. Because it's easy to do and there's no excuse not to do it. And if you do it from the beginning each and every time, you'll thank yourself later. I promise. Alright? Locate prospects. If you don't do that, nothing else matters. Locating prospects is marketing. And, and, and future meetings are going to be Primarily about that, different ways.